Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is NXL ITCSE. It's linear equations. It's my second series, and it is good to go. I don't know why I said that. I don't know what that means, uh, but it does mean that we are going to get started. Uh, we've got this lovely little equation here, and the first thing I'm going to do is clear the denominator. Uh, the whole of the right hand side is covered by that denominator so if I multiply both sides by 10 then that will clear that denominator so it gives me 10p on the left and by clearing the denominator I just literally cancel it out I do not need to times the numerator by 10 so that will give me 3p minus 5 beautiful next thing I'm going to do is subtract 3p to both sides and that will give me 7p over here and it will clear out this guy here so I'll be left with minus 5 next job is to divide through by 7 and that will clear out the times by 7 and that will leave me with p is equal to minus 5 over 7 and we can leave it like that uh, no reason to write it as a decimal. That is a lovely way of expressing that number. Okay, onwards and upwards. Um, and we are now looking at a equation with x's on both sides. So first things first, let's multiply out the brackets. I get 5x plus 35 is equal to 2x minus 10. Now, here's the trick. If you've got x on both sides, you want to subtract the smallest one uh, first. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, because that's smaller than 5x. And that is going to give me 3x plus 35. The 2x and the minus 2x will cancel out nicely. And that will leave me just minus 10 on that side. I want to get the x on its own. So I need to remove this 35, so I'm going to subtract 35 from both sides. They cancel out nicely, and that leaves me with just 3x on that side. And I have minus 10 minus 35 is minus 45. And then finally, the last thing I need to do is to divide through by 3 on both sides, and that gives me minus 15. Delightful. Okay, let's crack on. Oh, look at this. We've got a fraction and we've got x's on both sides. Well, like I said before, you're going to want to clear that fraction straight away. That's the first thing I want to do. Uh, that fraction takes up the whole left side, so times it by 2 will clear that fraction for me. And in doing so, that will just cancel the divide by 2 on the bottom. So it will leave me with 6x minus 5. And timesing this side by 2 would give me 2x plus 2. Okay, uh, look for the smallest x first, and that is 2x, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Cancel, cancel. That leaves me with 4x minus 5 is equal to 2. I want to isolate the x, so let's remove the minus 5 there by adding it to both sides. Cancel, cancel, gives me 4x is equal to 7. And then the last step is to divide by 4. And in doing so, it gives me an answer of x is equal to 7 over 4. Lovely. Again, leave it in fraction form, no need to change it. Okay, very similar question. Um, so I'll do it without... Uh, going through the steps in too much detail. Times by 2. That clears the denominator on that side. Look for the smallest x, which is 4x. So let's subtract 4x from both sides. Cancel, cancel. This gives me 8x minus 10 is equal to minus 7. I want to isolate the x, so I've got to get rid of this minus 10 here. Add that to both sides. Cancel, cancel. 8x is equal to minus 7 plus 10. Computing plus 3. And then finally, we need to divide by 8. 
So I get three over eight as my final answer. Beautiful. Okay, what we've got going on here? Another one, another one. Times by four. You see how popular this question is. Comes up a lot, it tests all the skills really of um, linear equations. Minus three X. Plus 12, mm, 7, divide by 5. There you go. Easy free marks if you know how. Okay, this one slightly trickier. But again, the same thing. Multiply through by 4. Gives me this, and it clears that denominator. What is the smallest x there? And don't say 8x. It's not. The smallest x is minus 12x. Because it's negative, so it's smaller than minus 8x. So that's the one I want to move first. And I'm going to add 12x to both sides in order to get that cancel, cancel. This gives me 16, 5, and then minus 8x plus 12x gives me positive 4x, which is what we're looking for. Minus 5 from both sides. Cancel, cancel. So we get ooh, 11 is equal to 4x. Divide both sides by 4. So x is 11 over 4. Lovely. Oh, would you look at that? This looks more exciting. So I've got a double bracket here because, in fact, it is a double bracket because I'm squaring, which means I'm timesing it by itself. And then this one, I've got another double bracket here, which I'm going to have to expand out as well. Okay, right, let's do some expanding. Bosch, 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 Bosch. Bosch, 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 Bosch. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times 5, 10x. 5 times 2x, 10x. 5 times 5, 25. 2x times 2x, 4x squared, 2x times minus 1, minus 2x, 3 times 2x, 6x, and 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Okay, whenever we expand the double bracket, we can always collect the x terms in the middle. So 2 10x's make 20x, and over here, a minus 2 plus a 6 makes a plus 4. Okay, right, how can I simplify this? Well, look, I've got this 4x squared on both sides. So what I can do is I can just take away 4x squared on both sides. Cancel, 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 cancel. Lovely. Okay, um, so now I've only got x's, which is great, uh, and a constant term, of course. So what I could do is look for the smallest x, which is minus, which is 4x. So I can take 4x from both sides. Cancel, cancel. And what am I left with after that? Well, 16x here plus 25 is equal to minus 3. 16x is equal to minus 28 when I subtract 25 from both sides. So x is equal to minus 28 over 16, which could be simplified to minus 14 over 8, Ooh. which could be simplified to minus 7 over 4. Let's leave it like that. Minus 7 over 4 looks lovely. That's correct. Okay. Uh, final question. Final question. And, <laughs> embarrassingly, I've got this question wrong before. Because I fell for the trap. Um, let's see if I do it again. Please no. Right. The area of B. The area of B. Right, before I start, let's just find the area of B. It will be this times this. So let's write this as an equation. So it will be 5 times 2x minus 1. Is, we can use that, uh, a way to substitute that word as an equal sign. If something is something, then it's equal to it. Because it is it. Uh, twice, which means times 2. 
the area of angle, sorry, angle, of, of rectangle A, which is this times this. So that's 4 times 5 minus x. Okay, have I done that correctly? I'm pretty sure I have. Right, multiply the brackets. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. So I'm basically timesing this bracket by 8. So that gives me 40 minus 8x. What's the smallest x? You got it. It's minus 8x. So let's add 8x to both sides. Cancel, cancel. And this gives me uh, 2, oh, 18x minus 5 is equal to 40. Um, I want to isolate the x, so add 5 to both sides. Okay, 18x is equal to 45. So final step is to divide through by 18. I could take out a factor of 9. So 5 over 2 is your final answer. Oh, enjoyed that. Hope you did too. Um, like, subscribe, share, move on to the next topic. Check out series one. Look at my hardest questions on GCSE maths. So much to do. Bye for now.